Yo, what's up gamers? So, my appeal got rejected for that video about Spencer. The title was Mama Max is friend Spencer should not be trusted. And it's a pretty accurate statement, all things considered. But apparently, it was still age-restricted despite me making an appeal. Now, I'm about to tell you why this is pretty freaking weird, alright? And why, again... I think it was all because of Max or some weird little connection he pulled. So when I chose to appeal this video, it took and prompted me to a specific area in the video where it got essentially flagged or what YouTube deemed to be bad. And for this instance, it was actually the uncensored clip of Camden and Spencer kissing, which is really freaking weird considering it didn't go to any questionable territory. Is mild kisses, if anything. And seeing as how there are way worse things on YouTube that go past the little kissy kissy and still manage to, at the very least, get just limited added and not age restricted. I don't know, seems kind of sussy right off the bat. Not to mention, I then decided to make another video, and it was called Mama Max and Spencer Struck My Video. In this video, I essentially play both clips. Uh, the clip of Camden and Spencer or whatever. Now keep in mind, this video got limited added. It didn't get age restricted, but it did get limited added right off the bat. Shout out to all of you that despite that were gracious enough to like it. Ah, uh, really does mean a lot. But that being said, it was limited added. And only today did it get checked off as monetized friendly. Now that's kind of weird. Because, essentially, it was the same clip, uncensored, that I showed of Camden and Spencer kissing. Which, again, follows the ad suitability questionnaire that you get asked when you upload a video. So, based off of this, we can pretty much tell, if we couldn't tell already, that it was probably some Max-like behavior that influenced whether or not this video's reach was downed. Because what I mean by that is that when something gets age restricted, you need to fit some criteria in order to view the video. Essentially, it becomes less easy for anybody to access this or watch it. And if that's the case, then the information that I provided in that video will get lessened as well. Because in order to do this, you have to be over the age of 18, and you have to have a YouTube channel or a YouTube account, Google account, that establishes you're over the age of 18. You can't just click this video randomly and see it for, you know, what it is. You have to log in, and that's an extra step, but you'd be surprised how much an extra step will mean the difference between 100 people watching a video and, like, 5 people watching a video. So all this kind of seems very suspicious, again, because... I, let me I, once again run this down. I showed the same clips in both videos. The other video gets limited added, but not age restricted. In fact, it gets approved by YouTube the following day after getting limited added. And then I, we go back to the video that has already made almost 20,000 views. That was gaining a lot of traction. And that one had the same clip that YouTube deemed to be age restrict worthy. And for some reason, that video gets age restricted. It just doesn't really make any sense. Do the only other thing I can think of is the clip was an excuse, and the real information that they wanted to suppress was the actual screenshots regarding Spencer and how she was complicit in being part of the cult, and showing how much she was down bad for Camden. It also shows that Spencer isn't an angel, which, to be fair, a lot of people have already been saying, called it, called it, called it. The signs were all there. The thing that I put out in the question Spencer video further substantiate those claims with the receipts provided. So once again, the only thing that this points to is that Max tried to suppress this video because he didn't want Spencer looking bad. I'm sorry, but if you have <laughs> the, the current situation and circumstances, there's no other way to look at it. Why would the clip be okay in one video and, and then on the other video not be okay? It doesn't make any sense. And then the appeal gets rejected. Uh, think about that too. The appeal for my 20,000 viewed video gets rejected that has generally the same shit as my new video that was limited at it and suppressed early on. 
again, it doesn't take a fucking rocket scientist to be able to put the pieces together. Yes, Max did do some bullshit to take my video and suppress it so that more people can't fucking see it. That's a fucking fact. Or at least it's a pretty accurate fucking presumption at this point. You're not gonna say all these coincidences happen one after the other, after the other, after the other. But whatever. There's not much you can do about it. But it's good to know that at the, the very freaking least, people are now questioning Spencer. Because I think overall, the people you need to be looking at is Max and Spencer. Possibly Camden. And I think the least guilty of all this would be the survivors the other ones the ones that haven't been going along with all of max and spencer's brainwashing bullshit but you know what i'll be a little more empathetic let's say they are going along with their bullshit they could just very well be being misled by both those jack offs and i, I mean spencer and max so to wrap this up as my last contribution unless i decide to make a embarrassing L's of Mama Max overall video and ran, you know put everything together or what whatnot uh, I'm gonna give you a couple bullet points regarding the four people involved or the four parties involved in this case and this was inspired by the Kiwi Farms itself which by the way again if you don't want to be grifted by certain individuals on the YouTubes, you should just go there and see what they have to say. So these bullet points go as followed. Camden Gerard Davis does not run a vampire cult, does not have hundreds of victims, is a creepy weirdo obsessed with LARPing as a vampire, sextorted teenage girls online for nudes in typical nonce fashion, was Spencer's boyfriend, possibly groomed her too, but did not use occult brainwashing techniques, just regular manipulative crap. Spencer was possibly groomed by Camden, was possibly an accomplice to his crimes, was possibly in a toxic, mutually abusive relationship with Camden, not nearly as hopeless or innocent as she wants to be seen as, likely started this campaign not out of genuine moral concern, but as revenge for Camden for breaking up with her, likely still manipulating the victims for her own credibility, can't tell the exploitative spectacle is hurting her credibility, not helping it. Mama Max, a clout-hungry, grandiose, narcissistic, desperate for notoriety, sees predator hunting as an interesting way to grab views, thinks it's okay to bend the truth a little as long as the core mission is still good, okay with outright lying to make a story seem more cool or exciting. Lacks insight, can't see how his words and actions look to other people, either due to autism, best case scenario, or narcissism, worst case scenario. Thought this case would be his breakout moment, went all in on the production value and ARG elements with no insight to how people would see it as exploitative or tasteless. Probably isn't very good at understanding the difference between fantasy and reality and doesn't have a firm emotionally mature grasp on either individually. The victims, genuinely were solicited and sextorted by Camden, were possibly manipulated by Spencer and likely still are, felt like something wasn't right about all this, but assumed good fate, unfortunately just like they did with Camden, are genuinely baffled by how Spencer and Max made the whole thing about themselves, and didn't realize how badly all of the drama would distract from and hurt their case. And the one thing you should have gotten out of the Nexpo's interview, Max went public with the story is because Spencer wanted him to. Spencer is also the person who started gathering survivors in the server. Spencer was not elected a financial advisory by the other survivor, victim A's word. The other survivors are furious that their information is out there. The other survivors are mad at Max and Spencer for engaging in arguments with commentary channels. Spencer convinced them all that Camden would put them in moral or mortal danger. Yeah, I think we're done with calling Spencer a survivor. Yeah, she's more of a whale. Still really feel bad for victim A, aka Ellie, and victim B, Ishmael. These girls were tweens when this all went down and thus very impressionable. Both were sextorted, but considering how much intimate knowledge Spencer holds about whatever that means, I don't believe they were sextorted by Camden, allegedly. I believe Spencer was the primary sextorter and enforcer of the cult. She uses air quotes whenever referring to it as a cult. I don't think the Australian girl is real, or at least her role wasn't as prominent. I speculate that all of the shit 
that Aussie girl, Carrie, IRL friend of Spencer, who got her into the cult, and Gio... <sighs> Giamara? All things Spencer has either made or projected that she's done onto other people. So that is what it is so far with the thoughts on the Kiwi Farmers, or the thoughts on the Kiwi Farms. Again, you can go and um, go check for yourself if any new developments come there. And that's all for my updates for the time being. Uh, I thank you guys for being around for the Mama Max arc, unless something else comes up. Especially, like, you know, very, very, very big stuff. Uh, I don't have anything else to add to this. So the next video, we're going to go and dive into a cute little lesbian named Lyrics. A lot of people seem to think that I have a big problem with this guy, or I'm the one that started a problem with him. But in reality, he's the one that started bullshit with me, and that's how we got up to this point. Anyway, that's all I got for this video, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.